In this video, we'll look at how to write the atomic orbital diagram for carbon. That's C on the periodic table. And the first thing we need to do is write the electron configuration for carbon. So carbon on the periodic table has atomic number six. That means it has six protons, but since all the elements on the periodic table are neutral, the number of protons and the number of electrons are equal. So carbon has six electrons. Carbon's right here on the periodic table. So we can follow the pattern to figure out the electron configuration. We start with the first energy level. We have 1s1, 1s2. That's full, so then we go to 2s, 2s1, 2s2. And then we get to the p, still the second energy level, 2p1, 2p2. And you can see that we've used 2, 4, 6, all six of our electrons. So this is our electron configuration for carbon. If you need help with that, there's a link in the description and at the end of this video. Now let's write the atomic orbital diagram for carbon. So we have the electron configuration, and this is just another way to write it, this orbital diagram here. So you can kind of imagine the nucleus is right here of the carbon atom, and we're just adding energy levels. Think of them as shells. So we start out with 1s2, put them in opposite directions, 2s2, so we have 1, 2 there, and then 2p2, and we spread those out like this, and this is the orbital diagram for carbon. You'll also see it written this way. So we have our 1s2, we have the two electrons, 2s2, two electrons, and then 2p2, 1, 2, spread them out. And this is another way that you can write the orbital diagram for carbon. They all represent the same thing, the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus of the carbon atom. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.